Bubble Pop Kids here, and we have a sweet, sweet show coming your way. Normally, I do candy bonanzas, I show chocolates, gummies, tons and tons of different kinds of candies, but today we are doing a lollipop bonanza. I am so super excited. This is my first ever lollipop bonanza. So many different ones here. We have characters, we have princesses, superheroes, even these swirly sweet ones. What do you guys see? We look at them one at a time and start this bonanza. And off the shelf, we have four of these swirly ones. First of all, they don't even look real. <laughs> Would you guys look at them? This is so cute with like pink, purple, and blue swirl. We get this classic candy one with all the rainbow colors. Ooh, this looks like a Christmas candy cane. I wonder what flavor it is. And then we get this unicorn. This is called a unicorn pop. It's got so many different colors in there. It's a different shape. Let's unwrap and test them. Our lollipops are unwrapped and it's time for the taste test. Here is the first one. I don't know why, but it reminds me of My Little Pony. All the cute little pink and blue and purple. Super sweet. I can't really get the taste. It tastes a little bit like raspberry, but then it's also just sweet and sugary. Mm, really, really good. Second one up, we get this super cute rainbow swirly pop. This is like the ones you see at Disney World with the Mickey face. Tried the rainbow one and it kind of tastes a little bit fruity, not too much. It pretty much tastes like a plain sugary pop, but it is just so pretty to look at. Woo, looks like a rainbow. Third one up is the candy cane pop. I don't know if it's peppermint. I sure hope so. It'll be kind of a different taste than the other two. Yes, it is. It is peppermint. Oh, it's so, so good. Tastes just like a Christmas candy cane. Looks like it should go right on top of a gingerbread house. Mmm, like that one. Now for the unicorn lolly. This is the only one that's kind of a different shape than these other three. And it is beautiful. <laughs> it looks like a unicorn horn. Mmm, this one is really good. It actually tastes a little sweet and sour. And to tell you the truth, out of all of these lollies, this one tasted the best. I don't know, it just kind of tastes a little bit like a Sour Patch Kid. But really, I loved them all. Here's a super close-up of those three lollies. This one was kind of like raspberry. This one was like plain sugar, peppermint, and sweet and sour. You guys can leave me a comment and let me know out of all of these which one you would like. Moving along with the lollipop sweetness, we are on to this one. Ooh, it's called the Big Dipper. It's a candy ring with sour powder. Ooh, that is so yummy. I've had lollipops that you dip in the pucker powder before, but I've never seen this one. It is green apple flavor. We gotta open it. Let's pop the top, and you know what? Looking at this, it reminds me of a baby bottle pop. One of those sour bottle pops. So here is our candy ring. I guess they call it the Big Dipper. Woo, that's sweet. It's sweet and sour. It's got such a nice green apple flavor. And here is your pucker powder. All you have to do is dip it in there. Ah, look at that sugar goodness. <laughs> look at that. I'm just gonna taste. Thanks! Woo, that is sour. I did not expect that. This is probably one of the most sour pucker powders ever. This is nice and smooth and really sweet, but once you dip it in here, woo, it has such a kick. And after the second taste, I love this. I could literally drink this. It is so, so sweet. It's like a bunch of little Sour Patch Kids mashed up together. Super sour. Mm, I am loving that Big Dipper one. And if you want to save it and you can't eat it all at once, all you have to do is pop in your lolly, put the top, and save it for later. Ah, that last one was so sour. I had to get some water and cleanse my palate. So now I'm ready to taste the next one. Oh, look what we got, you guys. It is a lolly go round. I've actually had one of these before. I think it was blue or green. But look how cool. It's got this little string. And you pull it. And the lollipop spins around. It's such a cute little thing. And this little lolly go round also has three flavors. You can tell by the stickers. We have a blue raspberry, a strawberry in the middle, and a watermelon. 
our brand business. I unwrapped all three of those pops so we can give them the taste test. I'm gonna put the strawberry over here. Whoop, and the blue rasp over here. And I'm gonna put my favorite flavor, watermelon, in the center. super funny thing about this one in the middle when I look at it really quick it reminds me of a Ninja Turtle it looks like Raphael with his red mask I don't know why I just keep thinking that so then the blue one let's taste it mm, tastes like a blue rasp snow cone at the fair really good another thing about these they're not super sweet the taste is kind of light mm, the strawberry one is like strawberries and cream so my favorite definitely is the watermelon then the blue rasp and the strawberries but how convenient is this? You have one pop with three different flavors. You can decide which one you want. Coolest invention ever. Big slice pop! Look at this pack of lollies, you guys. It is huge! It's perfect for like a birthday party. There's so many different ones and they all look like fruit flavors. We get peach, green apple, and watermelon. And the cute thing about these is they are actually kind of shaped like the fruit. I've never tried this before. This is basically a string of nine lollipops, three different flavors. Here is the green apple. Ooh, it kind of looks like a watermelon. Oops, here it is. Now this says green apple flavor, but I would see this as watermelon. Look at it, it's so cute. Mm, watermelon it is so good these are so fruity they kind of taste like fruit juice Peach it is oh it's so peachy sweet it tastes like a fresh fruit tastes like fruit juice I've never had a lollipop taste so much like fruit juice so so far we have the watermelon and the peach last one is green apple I'd say that has a green apple color although they're all shaped like watermelons they have like a watermelon slice shape there's a little dark green and light ah this one was delicious. <laughs> it tastes just like a green apple jelly belly bean or like a green apple jolly rancher. So sweet and sour. Really good. Here's another look at your three fruit pops. Peach, watermelon, green apple. Green apple was my fave. Watermelon was my second. And peach was my third. And those were called the big slice pops. Oh, they're supposed to look like little popsicles. Next up, we have some lollipop pop-ups. These are actually the first three of the six. I have three more to show you. These are more like superheroes. So we get Michelangelo from Ninja Turtle. We get The Flash from the Justice League. And Superman. These are amazing because they come with three lollipops and they're Chupa Chups, my favorite lollies in the world. We get, what do we get? Strawberry, watermelon, and cherry. Hey guys, say we pop these out of the packages and see what they do. Ooh, and after you open three packets, you get nine Chupa Chups. We get three strawberry, three watermelon, and finally three cherry. Here's the Flash, Superman, and Mikey. Looking at these, nobody would ever think they are lollipop holders. Someone would probably think they were either Pez dispensers or just little toys. But here is how cool these are. So here is the flash. All you have to do is pop that open. Woo! Ah! Alrighty guys, so now it's time to show you the magic of the pop-up. So here it is. It looks just like a toy, but you pull this lever up. Boop! And you put your lolly in there. is another super cool candy invention because sometimes when you're eating a lollipop you don't finish it at one time so you just stick it right in there and this is like a shield it protects it and keeps it clean and lets you save it for another time here is the flash look at all the detail he looks like he has some oil on his face i don't know <laughs> he looks super shiny then there's a sticker there let's pop in the lolly so fresh. I tasted the cherry lollipop. That's what we're going to put in the flash holder. And it is so good. If you've never had a Chupa Chup before, you have to try one. They are so good and fresh. So you basically just stick the lolly in like that. Let go of the lever. 
Boop, and it closes up. First you see the flash, then you see the lolly. Flash lolly, flash lolly. Unbelievable little contraption. I am just loving this. I have six of them. Here you go, let's taste it again. Moving on to one of my favorite turtles ever, Mikey. Oh, look at this. It's like a lime green color. He's smiling and also comes with the Nickelodeon Ninja Turtle sticker on there. Boop, and the little button is orange, just like his ninja mask. Michelangelo, I think we're gonna pop in the watermelon. I gave it a little lick and the watermelon is always my favorite. Probably the best Chupa Chup flavor besides strawberries and cream, the ice cream one. Let's flip it open, pop in our pop-up pop, woo, and close. Perfect example of when this would come in handy, one of these pop-ups. Say you're going to school and you're having a little taste of your lollipop, but you can't bring it in with you and you can't eat candy at school. All you have to do is close it up, pop it in your backpack, when school finishes and you get out, flip it open and return to eat in your lolly. Great idea, Bubble Pop! Here's the third of the superhero pop-ups and it's Superman. Ooh, I think this one may be my favorite of the three. He also looks like his face is a little oily, super shiny. Ooh, but look at those piercing blue eyes. We get a Superman sticker with a little logo there. We get a little yellow button. Pop! I am Superman! Superman is gonna get this yummy strawberry chupa chup. So good, not as good as the watermelon, but really fresh. Pop it in and Flip it closed. Here's another look at these guys and you can leave me a comment and let me know out of all three, which one is your fave? Ooh, look at these ones. We get some random little lollies, all different. One is a soccer ball. We get a basketball. Ooh, look at this slice of cake. <laughs> it looks like it's got fudge and whipped cream. Oh, look at this cute little watermelon. And a cupcake. Look at these little sweeties on a stick. To tell you the truth, they don't even look like candies. They look like plastic. They are just so detailed. Oh, love these. Watermelon! Look at this, you guys. It looks like a slice of watermelon. It's got those three little black seeds. How did they make this? Let me give it a taste. Yummy! I wasn't sure if this was gonna be just like sugary or have a watermelon taste. Oh, it does. It tastes just like fresh watermelon, just like the Chupa Chup one, or even like this little one I tried earlier. Almost the same flavor, but it's just so, so adorable. Next one is the cupcake. Oh, look at this cupcake here. It's got a purple bottom, it's got some white frosting and sprinkles on there. Wonder what flavor this will be. Tastes like grape ice cream. <laughs> I've never had grape ice cream before, but I think that's what it would taste like. It's grape at the bottom, but then the white part is kind of like creamy, like whipped cream. Mm, it's really, really good. I didn't expect it to be so good. Here's the third one. We're going with a basketball. <laughs> Look at this thing. It looks so, so real. It's got those little black lines. The lines look like frosting. And if you could guess what it is by the color, it is orange. Woo, it's got such a strong orange flavor. These lollies don't just look amazing, they have a really good taste. Fourth one, we got a blue slice of cake. Whoa, <laughs> this looks like something Pinkie Pie or one of the little ponies would cook up. It's got whipped cream, sprinkles, chocolate. Just looks too good. Hmm, I can't really tell what it is. It kind of tastes a little bit like blue raz, but super, super sweet and sugary. The other three tasted a lot better, but this one just looks so good. Doesn't even matter. And I'll finish it up with a soccer ball. <laughs> Here it is. I've never had a soccer ball lollipop. Actually, I've never even had a basketball one. But they are so cool. Perfect for birthday parties or if you're having like a sports game and you make party bags. Test it. Super lemony. Ooh, this one tastes like lemonade. I did not expect that. It's white. It's got these little black dots. I thought maybe it would be like vanilla, but it tastes like lemonade or lemon juice. <laughs> and it kind of reminds me of a panda bear, but had like two little eyes. Boop. So we 
got a watermelon. Cupcake. Orange basketball. Blue slice of cake. Last but not least, a soccer ball. But along from all of those cutesy pops to a shopkeep pop. Look who it is, you guys. Strawberry Kiss. I cannot believe this. It is huge. I actually had a kooky cookie one and apple blossom. But I never tried this, sweetie, out. And it's funny. It looks like it has these little red sprinkles on there. I'm guessing it's strawberry flavor. Not too sure. And we also get a shopkeep surprise. I saw this at the store. This was sitting right next to it and I had to have it. I love my Shopkins. It's one in five plush hangers. What we're gonna get. Oh, look who it is. We got Toasty Pop. We got Toasty Pop here. I love the pop, 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 pop. Wow, this is such a good one from season two. I love my little Toasty Pop. It's so cute, soft and plushy. Got a little slice of bread in there. Ooh, we got a really good one. Back to Miss Strawberry Kiss and the lollipops. This is such a bright red. <laughs> the color looks so amazing. And it's so wrapped up really cute. You can give this as like a gift to your friends with a Shopkin present. You can put it in a party bag. Love that little tag. Sorry, Strawberry. Just gotta peel your face off for a second so we can test out this lolly. Here it is. Look at this. It's got two different sides. This side kind of looks like whipped cream. No, not whipped cream. It looks like a red frosting. Even kind of looks like nail polish. It is just so shiny and glossy. When you flip it around, this side looks like a sprinkle cookie. You can see all of those amazing sprinkles on there. They're iridescent and sparkly. Time for the taste test. This thing is so, so, so good. I can't even describe it. It's got a really kind of creamy taste to it. Does taste like strawberry. And then when you lick it, you get a mouthful of these sprinkles. They're so crunchy. I have to say that every single lollipop we tried today, this is the winner so far. Ah, it's so good. You better believe it's good, Bubble Pop. It's sweet, just like me. Strawberry kiss, huh? I don't know what I like better, the little Toasty Pop plushie or this lolly. I think the lolly. <laughs> It's just so, so amazing. On to the next one. Boop. And here it is. We got a Flash Pop. Woo. I think I've had one of these before in strawberry flavor, but we get this like electric blue color. It's the best part. Look at this. Woo. It lights up. Looks just like a glow stick. Kind of looks like a lightsaber. And the flavor is Beaming Blue Raz. Let's just pop it open, unwrap, here is your lolly. It's such a cool shape, it looks really cool. <laughs> it looks like one of those little Star Wars lightsabers. Unwrap, mm, gotta try it. Yes, this is so, so good. I love the shape of it, it tastes so, so yummy. Get ready for some flash pop action. I dim the lights, let's give it a test. Whoa. Unbelievable. This thing is so bright. It's literally glowing like this whole space. Kind of like a nightlight. Another cool thing about it, you could see all those little bubbles in the pop. <laughs> it looks like water or something like that. I never could believe this tiny little pop could produce so much light. <laughs> this is amazing. My mind is blown right now. I cannot get over it. So cool to bring to like a carnival at night or if you're having like a baseball or football game at night. Your friends would love it. Lollipops just keep on rolling through. <laughs> we have a few more to look at. Ooh, look at this one. It's called the Sour Pacifier Pop. Oh, it's like a little baby passy. So sour you'll cry. Oh, look at that little crazy baby on there. Well, all we gotta do is open up this little pouch and see how sour this really is. <laughs> I cannot imagine it's too sour, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> I'm loving the colors on here. It's got the green and the pink. <laughs> Woo! <-wee. laughs> this thing is sour, sour, sour town. Woo! But it's so, so good. Looking at the back of the package, it is pink lemonade flavor. 
Not only is this thing super sour, it's got such a good lemonade flavor to it, like a pink lemonade. And I love this little handle here. It's great. Well, we have three more of the pop-ups. This time we get Dory, Nemo, and my favorite princess in the world, Cinderella. Here's Dory, Cinderella, and our good pal Nemo. Here's the three new pop-ups from the new Finding Dory. We get Dory and Nemo. These are so adorable because they're in these little seashells. And the princess in the middle. This looks like a piece of her pumpkin carriage. Beautiful. And these three pack of pop-ups also came with nine more lollipops. So in total, we get 18 Chupa Chups. Take a look-see here at Dory. Look at this seashell. Such a beautiful color. It's kind of like a teal green. There she is. There's a cute little sticker. She's got a blue button. Boop. And the seashell opens. Don't mind if I do. Put one of my favorite flavors, watermelon, right inside. Kind of like a clamshell with a pearl. Well, for Mr. Nemo, he's got this electric blue color. Kind of looks like he's popping off of there. 3D, I love that orange. Oh, these are the coolest. Of all the pop-ups, I think the Dory and Nemo are my faves. Here's a close-up of Nemo, and he's got a sticker there with his orange button. Pull it up and put in a strawberry lolly. just had to get a Disney princess here. Actually, this is our first Disney princess lollipop of the Bonanza. <gasps> Look how pretty she looks. She's got her little black choker. I love her hair. Classic bun. Such a cute pick. Oh, and this one has a little pink button. Cinderella is going to get a pink pop. All together, we get one, two, three, four, five, and six. Pop-ups! Here's the whole pop-up gang together. We get some princess, superhero, fishies. Love them all. Worst part of the show for me, you guys. We are on to our final lollipop of the Bonanza. Oh, and it is a cherry rock candy sugar stick. I've had rock candy before and they are delish. They're just so pretty to look at. They kind of look like crystals. Doesn't have much flavor, it tastes like plain old sugar, but it's so smooth and just so pretty to look at. <laughs> it looks like something out of a crystal cave. Woo! And that's a lot of lollipops. Look at this, the table is filled with nothing but lollies. I loved all of them. Some of them had really, really great taste. Some of them were just sugary. I loved all the pop-ups. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen so many in one place ever. And we are going to have so many more fun videos coming up on the show. This is Bubble Pop Kids. You can click this big red subscribe button here and subscribe to our channel. Have a great day. Bye.